Hi, welcome to another video on new features in Photoshop CS5. This is video number seven, I think. <laughs> There's been a lot of them. I'm Marek Mulacic from saitraining.co.uk and from Photoshop Lightroom Bridge.co.uk. And this is a next video on new features in Photoshop CS6. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new properties panel. You may have noticed it. Now, here's how I've noticed the properties panel. When I started using, when I opened Photoshop CS6 for the first time, I was playing around. And something I've noticed interesting was that the adjustments panel is so small now. There's no room for the adjustments that appear. So I was trying to adjust the image and I went to one of the adjustments uh, here in the adjustment panel. And when I clicked on the adjustment panel, when, on an adjustment, what happens? The properties panel appeared. Brand new panel here in Photoshop CS6. So here's the section. I'm working on the curves, okay? So I can add a curve adjustment. The rest is the same as usual. Let me just move it aside. Let's, let's bump it up a bit. The contrast. Here we go. Okay, the icons here change as well. We've got this icon here where we can clip the adjustment layer to the layer below. We've got the eye icon where you can see the previous state. That's before, that's after, before and after. Okay, and we can reverse the adjustment back to the default. So once you're done, what you do is you can just close it. You've closed the properties panel and the adjustment is here. Now let me show you another example. I'm just going to quickly create a selection here. And I will show you the mask. I'm using quick section to one of my favorites. I'm going to add another adjustment. Let's say here and saturation this time. Okay, I'm just going to quickly colorize this boy. Of course, it's changing the entire image. So in this case, I'm going to clip the adjustment layer. And then there's another icon here in the properties panel for masks. So I can click on this icon here and I can adjust the mask. Basically, it's the, like the adjustments panel and the masks panel back in Photoshop CS5. So you can change the density of the layer mask. Okay. All right. You can also feather it. Let me just close it for a moment. I'm just going to close uh, do, 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 the curves for a second. Okay, and now back to here and saturation. This layer mask here. So I'm on the layer mask. Okay, and you've got the mask edge as well, okay. which opens the refine mask dialog box, like the refine edge. Okay, so you can change the preview. I'm just going to leave it on layers. Okay, Oops, uh, on layers, right? And you can see the small radius here against the black background, so it's easy to see what's happening here. Okay, I'm just going to show radius. And now I'm just going to shift the edge. Okay. And all the usual adjustments you find, I'm just going to cancel that. So the properties panel now in Photoshop CS6 shows you the masks and the adjustments in the same panel. I hope you enjoyed it. Explore more the properties panel. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week in the next video on new features in Photoshop CS6. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulacic from saitraining.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe certified training and from photoshoplightroombridge.co.uk. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.